In this session, let's look at all eight selenium locators. The locators in alphabetical order are class name, CSS selector, ID, link text, name, partial link text, tag name, and XPath. I prefer to start with the ID locator. If the ID locator is not available, then I use XPath or CSS selector, depending on the element. If you're interested in a transcript, then you can go to the description to get a link that will take you to this document. I created the transcript just in case if you want to read the information that is covered in this video. The application will be Orange HRM. Everything you see on this page is an element. The logo, buttons, fields, links are all elements. Locating an element is one of the most important concepts when it comes to automation. It's important because we must first find the element before performing an action on the element. In the IDE, let's start by importing our statements. The statement begins with from Selenium, import web driver and from web driver manager dot Chrome, import Chrome driver manager. Let's start by creating an instance of Chrome driver by writing driver equals web driver dot Chrome with the capital C. Pass in Chrome driver manager followed by install. After we set up and create an instance of Chrome driver, next is to load the application. Driver.get. And we're going to pass in the URL. Go back, copy, then paste the URL in PyCharm. I will not perform an action on the element, but only focus on finding the elements. After this session, we will perform an action on the elements. But for now, let's go and find the element by writing driver.find. There are many find element and find elements methods in this IntelliSense. We should not use find element by link text, find element by ID, or any find element by no selenium locator. Years ago, it was recommended that we do not use this method. If I select find element by ID, notice there is a strike outline in the method. That's because the method is deprecated. The recommended approach is to use driver dot find element, then pass in the by class. Now, by has a red line because we must import the class. We can import by writing manually or hover the name by and select import. And the import statement for by has been entered on row or line two. Now we're gonna write by dot. Notice we see all eight Selenium locators, ID, name, tag name, XPath, class name, partial link text, link text, and CSS selector. Now, ID will be the first locator we use. Now we need the value of ID. Let's go back to the application. Inspect username. And we see ID has a value of TXT username. So I'm going to copy the value, then go back to the application and paste in the ID value. I have a utility function that will help us highlight the elements. When we find the element, it's going to highlight the element blue using JavaScript. So I'm going to use this function by importing the function and we import from utility import highlighter now we're going to pass in the element by writing 
highlight tur dot highlight and I'm going to copy and paste the find statement and at this point we have now found the element and this statement will highlight the element now the next statement and locator will it be name and I'm going to separate this here by writing ID that way we can keep a, a track record of all eight so I'm going to make this name name will find password which is equal to driver dot find element pass in by name go back to the application inspect password and we see it has a value of txt password the value will get placed after i add a comma and within the double quotes password txt password if we wanted to we can also use single quotes either way it's okay now i'm gonna show you another way to pass in the element because there are two ways to use this highlighter method for the id locator we pass in the complete driver dot find element statement this time let's only write highlighter dot highlight then pass in the web element password that's it so at this point let's run and see the elements highlight in the application username password they both highlight it cool okay so next we're going to use class name so i'm going to make a comment and say class underscore name now for class name let's go back to the application inspect the login button and we see class has a value of button therefore in our script we write login underscore button equal driver dot find element by dot class name comma button highlighter dot highlight then pass in login button our next slim locator is link underscore if i can spell it right link underscore text let's find the forgot password hyperlink when i inspect we see it has an a tag for link text we must write the complete name of the link including the question mark to make sure it is correct let's go ahead and copy the value and go back to our ide and write forgot underscore password equal driver dot find element by link text comma then pass in the value our code want to find the link if we leave off any character such as the question mark it won't find it however partial link text is different it allows us to find an element using part of the text for example if i go back and inspect the orange hrm ink hyperlink we can use orange orange hrm only some of the characters and still find the link so i'm going back to the application and write for partial link text let me make this comment right quick and put partial link text and this time i'm going to write orange underscore hrm link driver dot find element by dot partial link text comma 
know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make this statement go to the next line. And I forgot to pass in the value for forgot password to our highlighter function. Forgot password. And for partial link text, let's write part of the name such as orange hrm and i'm going to pass in the web element name which is highlighter highlight to pass in orange hrm link yes that's good now for tag name we're going to use the icons at the bottom and when i go back to the application we see link text, I mean link at the bottom, LinkedIn, and the values have a tag name for IMG. That's the value. So for LinkedIn, we see IMG. For Facebook, we see IMG. The same for Twitter and the same for YouTube. Let's go back to Pachorm and write driver dot find elements with an S by tag name. Then we pass in a value of IMG. We use find elements because we're gonna find more than one element. Now that we have inspected the social media icons, there will be five elements that use the tag name value. So we saw these four icons. The next one will be this at the top, orange HRM. Now, to highlight each element, element, we must use a for loop. And that for loop in Python, we write it by writing for icon. Icon is used as a temporary variable. For icon in icons, we must write the com colon. Then we write highlighter. If I can spell it right, highlighter dot highlight. Then pass in icon. And we're going to use this icons as the value for passing in. Now we're going to run because this is another good point to run and see what happens. But before running, let's scroll down the page before finding orange HRM using JavaScript executor. Drivers.execute script pass in window dot scroll zero twelve fifty. Now let's run. Username, password, login button, forgot your password, orange HRM. Yes, it located each element. Now, our last two Selenium locators are XPath and CSS Selector. I like both locators, and I choose the locator depending on the element. Go to the AUT, and we're going to inspect the username, admin password admin one two three at this point notice the span tag row is highlighted blue to find this element using css selector i can write div which is the parent tag then the child tag which is span the row is now highlighted yellow which means we have located that element However, it also shows one of three. That means there is a total of three elements with the same value. We only want to highlight and identify one element. Next, I write colon nth hyphen child, followed by parentheses. Within the parentheses, we can write in a value to identify which child element we want to find and we write one which finds the first child 
we can also add two to find another child. But let's use one. So I'm going to change it back to one and then I'm going to copy and go back to our application. And for this point, for the credentials, I'm going to write a comment for CSS underscore selector. Then find the element, driver dot find element by CSS selector. Then pass in the value. And the value is the one we copied. Highlighter dot highlight. And the part we're going to name this is how about credentials? And since the name or the statement is so long, I'm going to drop that to the next line, then pass in credentials. I'm going to go back to the application. And now we're going to inspect login panel. We see it has an ID attribute of login panel heading. Let's pretend the ID attribute is not there and we need the login panel. There are scenarios that requires us to use the text function from XPath to locate the elements. So for this value, let's use XPath and start by writing two forward slashes. Div, opening and closing square brackets. Within the square brackets, text followed by two parentheses, opening and closing, equal to Inside single quotes, let's write the value of the text, which is login underscore panel. Bingo. We found an element based on the text. Copy the value and go back to the IDE. Now, I'm going to write a comment for XPath. And we're going to find the XPath for the panel by writing driver dot find element by XPath, comma, and then pass in the value. Highlighter dot highlight, then pass in panel. That's it for XPath, CSS selector, tag name, partial link text, link text, class name, name, and ID. At this point, let's run and see each element highlight. We saw all the elements highlight and the console shows exit code of zero. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next session.